Hey folks, welcome back to Everyday South Texan. Today we're going to be installing the carry handle the kayak here. And so this kayak had uh, a couple of uh, built-in well nuts here for I guess a carry handle, but they're not very deep. I don't have this, the hardware for it, so I ordered some well nuts on Amazon, but they are too shallow for this. So I went and got some bigger ones at the Home Depot and some stainless hardware. So I'm going to drill these out, install these walnuts, and then mount the carry handle. So let's get into it. So now that I've got that nut out, I'm going to make the hole bigger with a 5 16 bit. You need it very big. I want the walnut to sit in there pretty snug. I am going to clean up this little burr right here. All right, so we got this well nut here seated. We're gonna drill out this stud here so we can insert another well nut. These particular well nuts, I got them at Home Depot, number 10 by 32, inch and 1 16 long. So when I bought these other ones here, I got them too short. I needed them a little bit longer than the thickness of the kayak. And so I just went ahead and bought one set when they start squishing up. They will have enough rubber to actually hold in the kayak. Okay, here we go guys. So I've got them inserted. You don't want to over tighten them. Snug them up nice and, nice and firm, but not over tighten.
All right, folks, there it is. I used inch and a quarter stainless steel, where we at? Inch and a quarter stainless steel bolts. I should have used inch and a half, and it wouldn't have been so hard to grab that nut inside the rubber uh, gasket. You can see the the little rubber nuts right there. And when you insert it, it goes this end first, and then this flange goes this flange here goes against the kayak. And if this had been quarter inch or eighth of an inch longer it would have been easier to grab that nut with the thickness of the handle plastic but that's how it is they're pretty this kayak weighs about 75 pounds so this will help me load it in and out of the truck hang it up on the wall things like that it also comes with a uh, elastic uh, kayak leash and it came with these keepers you can mount it here and then hang on your kayak I'm probably I'm not gonna mount it anywhere I don't I've got a leash on this side here so that'll do it for me I'm gonna install these on my daughters now Stick around and see how that goes. All right, folks. So what I'm doing here today, I'm replacing the GPS strap here. This is the old one, sun faded, real brittle, pretty wore out. So I had an extra piece. The strap I already mounted that one. The well nut is here, still installed. So just. Unscrewed it, had a washer to help it out. Show you the other side one second. So, here you can see I just heated up a nail, <clears throat> made the hole for through the web, and I reinstalled the stainless steel screw and stainless steel washer. It's just a machine screw with the washer. So that's what I'm going to do here on this piece. I'm going to fold it over. I've already marked it. I'm going to hold it together, heat up a nail, push it through, and mount it on the other side. So check it out. Okay, folks, so here we go. We got the hole burned in. All I did was take this nail, heat it up with the torch here, burned it in. So now that we got it burned, Let's go and mount it on the other side. Alright, here we go. Got a flat washer. Machine screw. There it is guys, so now I got new straps for my fish finder or GPS or whatever. I want to put a dry box here with my cell phone in it, whatever it is I want to put. I've got a new strap, I can tighten it up. So, there it is. Later. Today we're going to be installing carry handle my daughter's kayak. It's got these molded grips here on the inside so you can hold it but it's not very comfortable it's kind of cumbersome when things are get wet and slippery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this carry handle here and it's got a elastic piece here so you can put a, your paddle and hook it so 
We're gonna install this here, and then we'll put one on the other side so we can carry it. No matter which side we're on, we can carry it. Stay tuned. Do is kind of my ball is very similar to the space here. So mark it here and here. Now we're just gonna pop a couple holes. The drill. Show you what that looks like. So you can see I just drilled the hole straight in and it's a relatively thin wall so I can use some walnuts and this kayak is very light. See uh, you can see it only it's only six foot six and it, it's only rated for 140 pounds. My daughter, she loves this thing. I think it weighs like 30 pounds or something like that. But with the handle on it, it'll make it a little easier to carry around. So here are the walnuts I'm gonna use. These are five mil and I've got stainless steel hardware that came with them, I got these off Amazon. If you were gonna use a thicker if the kayak you're working on has a thicker uh, body uh, as far as the wall thickness, you're going to need longer well nuts because they won't, uh, the shorter ones won't catch. But this one's a pretty thin wall, so but I do need to drill it out a little bit bigger. <laughs> Alright, so. Insert the walnuts. Once you got your walnuts inserted, screw it in, and it should bite. Started a bite. So you just want to snug it up. You don't want to rip the walnuts out, this is all it is. It's got a little nut on the inside and when it's screwed together it'll squish and it'll expand and it'll bite on the inside of the plastic here and it'll hold it. So that side's done, let's get the other side knocked out. Hang in there and turn it around. Go to the same spot. Mark it. Go nice little wall. And you want it nice and tight, nice and snug in there, so when it expands. <laughs> It will really bite in. 
So we've got the well nuts inserted here. And then we're going to just screw them in with our stainless steel bolts. All right, folks, so here's the handle installed using the well nuts, and it's pretty solid. You can also use self tapping uh, screws and rivets, but I had some well nuts, so we went ahead and uh, went with the well nuts. And they do create a because uh, they're rubber, they do create a seal, so you don't need any silicone or anything like that. If you try to put silicone on there, you'll cause the rubber to slip and it will not grip. So now we've got some handles on this kayak and uh, we, we can carry it a lot easier going up and down to the river. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to show you how to do or install or review. It's Everyday South Texan. Later.